Mike 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and liftoff for Falcon 9, go Falcon, go Galaxy 37. People's pitching down range. T plus 30 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. During ascent, we'll tilt the engines in a technical term called gimbling, and that will turn the rocket horizontally in what we call a gravity turn. Nominal power and telemetry. Now we're still going up, but we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. And the rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and reach orbit. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Just like that cannonball I mentioned earlier in the webcast. Now coming up, we should throttle down the Merlin 1D engines in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. And there's that call out. We did just pass through the point of max Q. And now we have three events coming up in quick succession, starting with Miko, Stage Sep, and SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or Miko, is the point during the flight where we shut down those nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Shortly after that, stages one and two will separate from each other, and that's so that the second stage isn't carrying unnecessary mass to orbit, and of course, the first stage booster begins its trip back down to Earth. Second engine start one, or SES-1, will be when we night ignite the uh, Merlin vacuum engine on board the second stage. Nominal trajectory. So we're coming up on those events in around 40 seconds. So let's keep a close eye on our screen for those events. Getting some great views of the ascent of the first stage here. You can see the plume of the rocket is expanding as the surrounding atmospheric pressure decreases. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. There we go, folks. You just heard and saw those three events that happened back to back. Those were Miko, Stage Step, and SES 1. Coming up next in around 30 seconds will be fairing separation. As a reminder, on the left side of your screen, you are seeing a live view of the first stage. And on the right side of your screen, you're seeing a live view of the MVAC engine attached to the second stage. Now keep a close eye on the telemetry in the bottom left and right corners of your screen. You can see MVAC is continuing to accelerate the payload faster and faster. And stage one is actually slowing down as it is no longer under power of rocket engines. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we go. There go those two fairing halves. We will be attempting to retrieve both of those again today once they fall back to Earth. And we'll be using our recovery vessel, Bob, for that. Coming up next are the two burns on the first stage. And that is to prepare us for landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Acquisition for signal, Bermuda. Now we're just about T plus four minutes into today's mission. We are currently in the first of two planned MBAC burns prior to satellite deployment. At around T plus six minutes, you should see on your screen the first Both stages. Vehicles remain on a nominal trajectory. You should see the first stage's entry burn at about T plus six minutes. Now for the entry burn, we do relight three of the M1D engines, and that's starting with the center E9 engine, followed shortly after by the E1 and E5 engines. And that slows the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. Now we need to slow down the vehicle to reduce re-entry forces, and that helps us recover and reuse the first stage. So be sure to follow along with the telemetry in the bottom left and right corners of your screen. During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but we're still moving very rapidly. 
So this causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also sometimes called the rocket's plume, and this deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle's surface. And that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses. So again, coming up on the entry burn in about a minute and 10 seconds from now. Currently getting a great view of the MVAC engine continuing its burn. We are now traveling over 12,000 kilometers per hour as we head to orbit. You can see that beautiful orange glow of the MVAC nozzle extension. That's one of the methods that the nozzle uses to cool itself during burn. Again, on the left side of your screen is a view of the first stage. Should be starting up for the entry burn in just around 15 seconds. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. And there's that call out. We did just start up engines one, five, and nine for the entry burn. This burn is around 20 seconds in total. You can see in the telemetry in the bottom left side of your screen that the vehicle is slowing down rapidly now. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And there we go. Just had confirmation of stage one entry burn shutdown. As a reminder, the first stage that's supporting today's mission will perform the entry burn for the sixth time. Um, it has previously supported Crew-5, GPS-3 Space Vehicle 6, Inmarsat 6F2, CRS-28, and a past Starlink mission. Falcon 9 is, of course, the world's first orbital-class reusable rocket, and this is important because reusability allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, and that in turn drives down the cost of space access. Next milestone coming up is the shutdown of the MVAC engine on the second stage, and that'll be followed quickly by our landing burn on the first stage. So we do have about 30 more seconds. Terminal guidance. 30 more seconds in the first burn of MVAC. As you can see now, we are traveling over 23,000 kilometers per hour. Stage one transonic. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one landing burn. And back shutdown. There's Sika one. We're just waiting confirmation of a good orbit and a stage one landing. Nominal orbit insertion. There we go. Great news there. Confirmation of a good orbit. Stage one landing leg deploy. Woo! Stage one landing confirmed. There you have it, folks. Expected loss to zero. Cape. That landing marks SpaceX's 213th recovery of an orbital class rocket. And that includes first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Now, the mission isn't over just yet. The second stage is now embarking on its first coast phase. After this coast phase, we will light that MVAC engine for a second time around the T plus 26 minute mark. So we'll see you back here in about 17 minutes.